Okay, I'm just coming on here real quick just to let you know that uh, we went to a museum uh, after the intro uh, that you'll see. And uh, the museum has a lot of neat stuff in it. It was actually, it's actually a jail museum. Um, and there's uh, something very significant about the jail museum that you'll see on another vlog, which will probably be the one right after this one uh, when I post that. But um, this one is all about George Harrison, and there were things in that museum about George Harrison. So you're going to see some weird cuts in the edit, um, and that's because I cut out all the other museum stuff and just put the George Harrison stuff in there, okay? So uh, with that being said, here's the George Harrison vlog. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans? And where the heck are the Albans? We are in a town called Benton, Illinois. We are south, 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 uh, Illinois. So, uh, and Becky's very excited. Becky, who is your favorite Beatle? George Harrison. George Harrison. Why would we be in Benton, Illinois, being excited about George Harrison? Well, the story goes that before he became, they became famous in America, before the Ed Sullivan show and that, he, George Harrison, who was topping the charts as a Beatle in Europe, but they weren't quite popular here yet, came to Benton, Illinois to visit his sister for two weeks. He bought a guitar here, he played with local bands here, he was, and everyone talked about how the nice, the nice boy with the long hair and the funny accent. So George Harrison, Harrison, sister, lived here in Benton, Illinois, and he came and stayed with her for two weeks before he was famous. That's right. He was the first of the Beatles, of the four boys, to, to come visit, to, to come to America. And he went back to England. Yeah. And it was like within two weeks, boom, the well, Beatles were, like really hit. They were already topping the charts in England. Right. But, but they, they haven't you know, made they hadn't made the crossover yet. Right. And that's when the big big thing yeah. happened. Within so, within weeks of yeah. him returning. So here in Benton at the airport, uh, it's just a little Which Italy really, airport. You can't call it an airport. Airport, hardly, yeah. <laughs> it's a strip in the middle of a cornfield. Yeah. Uh, honestly. Yeah. And um There's one person Yeah. Yeah. One guy's guarding. One guy's running the, the airport. And uh but right over here by the airport they have a mural. And we're gonna take you over by this mural right now. Let's go over there, okay? Yes, that is the airport right there. <laughs> One wind sock right there. And over here. Dun, 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 dun. Mr. George Harrison. They even have a light on it. So at night, it all lights up. But it's so cute because it's a 3D mural and they've painted girls screaming. So when you get it from this angle over here. Ah, George! <laughs> and it is called George Comes to Benton, 1963. Artist John Cerny, uh, 2017. And for Louise and George, there he is. He is tall. This is a very big, a very big mural. Give you an idea, we'll give you an idea of how big it is. We'll have Becky and uh, Vivian uh, stand in front of it. All right, come here, Vivian. So there's George and there is Becky and Vivi. Look, look, how, look at the size of this thing. It's big. All right, everybody look at George and scream, yay, like the girls. George Harrison. 
of the Beatles. Okay, so we watched a short 10 minute video when we first came into the museum. And we know all about it. We discovered a whole bunch of neat stuff. And there's even some more stuff about George Harrison right here. Becky, tell me about this picture over here. You know all about it. Oh, I, they told me about this one. Yeah. This is John and his sister and his little brother and his niece and standing in the square here in Benton. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go visit this spot so Becky can stand in the same spot that George yeah. stood in. Okay. <laughs> Look at this, they got a bunch of George stuffs here. She, Louise arrived, Louise Harrison arrival met by media blitz. Momentum builds in the effort to save the home, so apparently they were going to tear down the house, but I don't know huh. where it is. Maybe we can find out. Mm. Okay, so this is the actual uh, equipment here from WFRX 1300, and these are the turntables and everything else. And Becky, uh, Becky knows the story about uh, what's going on here. So the daughter of the radio station, mm -hmm. she had an after-school program, and Louise convinced her to play one of the Beatles records and interview George. So that so this young girl who had this little after-school radio program is credited as playing the first Beatles record in. The America. United States. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and he sat over there. This is the actual table and chairs. And microphone. And microphone where it happened. Right there. So uh, I don't know which seat George would have sat in, but it's one of those two chairs. But that's the actual yeah, table that happened, and that's the real microphone where the radio interview took place. <laughs> so here on the wall. Uh, she visited in 1122 of 09, or no, of 2000, I'm sorry. Yeah. And that's her signature right there. But they've got, uh, there's pictures of the old radio station. I think, I believe they tore it down. And here for Fab, there's a interview all about it. So, real interesting stuff. Okay, so in that picture with George and his sister and brother-in-law and uh, his niece, oh, his brother and his niece, uh, they were standing right here, right here where Becky's standing and Vivian. So, there it is. So Becky is standing in George Harrison's footsteps right here. Are you happy? Did you feel his presence? I do. Are you Always. feeling a spark? Some energy? Yeah, a little energy. Yeah. <laughs> up to my toes, up to my toes. Awesome. I am loving this antique store here um, only because of the fact that you cannot deny their logic. They've got this big neon sign here and they got a sign in the door that states if the open sign is on we're open. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> okay, so uh, no closing to this one because of the fact that we did a closing, but it was for the entire museum that we were looking at. Okay, so uh, if you like what you see, give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And we'll see you guys next time on Where the Heck are the Albans? <laughs> Bye, everyone.